This video will guide you to how to customize your invoice screen. For that, click on the setup option. Go to your third page of the setup and click on settings. Now go to invoice settings where you can see a variety of options to change your invoice settings. Starting with the first option is sales executive mandatory. If the user marked this as checked, the system will allow creating invoice only when the sales executive got selected. This is very useful when you give sales commissions. Next is show warning for negative stock. If this is checked on, then while making invoice, if the selected item has no stock or negative stock in the default go down of the currently selected business location, then one warning message will pop up. If this is checked off, then while making invoice, no matter whether the item has stock or not, the item gets added to the invoice without any warning message. Next is show offer details. If this is checked on, then the button panel for offers will not be visible to the user. The next is email invoice to customer. If this is checked, then email will be sent to the mentioned email ID of the customer. Credit limit for customers during invoice. You can define a credit limit here to keep some restrictions beyond which the customer cannot purchase anything from the shop if you are making credit sales. If the customer exceeds the defined amount, then you can't make the invoice for it. You can also define different credit value for different customers. For that, you need to open the customer details page. And if you set the limit as zero, then the customer will not be allowed to make any purchase under credit. Number of days to hold invoice. The system will delete the held invoices after the number of the days specified here. Number of invoices to print. By default, the invoice will be printed once. But you can specify the number of prints you want by changing the number of prints. Round of invoices amount and receive item entry amount to nearest. This option rounds up the amount in PESA to get the nearest round figure amount. Default payment mode of invoice. In the application by default the payment mode is cash. If the user wants to change the payment mode, he can select any of this mode and make the default payment mode as the selected one. Label settings. If this checkbox is checked on, then while making invoice and doing sales return, the items which have labels, then user will have to give the unique label number for each item. If this checkbox is checked off, then the labels are not compulsory. Invoice Express Pay Settings First option is Show Express Pay button. If this is checked on, then the Express Pay button will be shown in the main invoice page. The next is Show Invoice Express Pay Warning. If this is checked on, then the confirmation message will come every time when we click Express Pay. Print Invoice and Express Pay If this is checked on, you will get an invoice print when you make an Express Pay. Otherwise, there will be no print of the invoice. Default payment mode we can choose from the drop down list. This will be the default express pay payment mode for the invoice. Ask for payment mode in express pay. If this checkbox is on, then at the time of express payment, it displays payment mode window for changing the mode of payment. Sales return settings. The sales returns will not be allowed for the invoices older than that the number of days specified here. This settings is very useful to not to take the sales return for older sales invoices by mistake. To make the changes, click on apply. Now, to apply the changes to your application, you need to close the application and start again.